Okay, macromolecules. There are four of them. These four are the building block of a cell. Which part of your body is consists of a cell? Everywhere. And all cells are made of these basic macromolecules. Therefore, these macromolecules are found everywhere throughout your body. Everything in the world is composed of atom. What makes a rock not alive, whereas what makes you alive? The difference is how the atoms are rearranged. Therefore, let me ask you this. Why do we eat food? Every day we do things, we use energy to do things. So we need to regenerate both the energy and our body. So to regenerate, we eat food. By eating food, eating the materials, we consume it into our body, we digest, and then we convert those atoms into our atoms. And that's how we regenerate. So what kind of stuff do we get from food? We get the four basic macromolecules. We take the stuff we eat, rearrange the material, and then put them into our body to create new cells. Think of a building. When it's first built, it's fresh and new, but over time, it's going to start to deteriorate. So you want to fix it. In order to fix it, you take materials that makes up the building and then you create the building again. And that's how you fix buildings. So this fixing of the building is the same way with our body. We eat so we can take the material and we take the material to fix our body. Fortunately, the macromolecules, there's only four. That makes it much easier to remember. The first one is carbohydrate, equivalent to sugar. It provides a quick boost of sh energy. The next one is lipid. So what happens when we have too much extra energy, we don't want to go to waste, so we have to convert those energy into stored energy, which is lipids, otherwise known as fats and oils and waxes. The next one is protein. Protein is responsible for the structure, the material, and pretty much everything else in our body. And last but not least is nucleic acid, the basic information. Okay, so before we go into details about these four macromolecules, let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there is a kingdom. In the kingdom, in the middle, is the castle. Inside the castle is the king's chamber. In the king's chamber lives the king. Now, around the king's castle are the parliament or the people who do all the politics and stuff like that. Those people live, support, and tell the king, kind of help the king out. Then outside of the castle, on the edges, you have the peasants, the normal everyday people. You have farmers, uh, people who sell stuff, butchers, markets, clothes sellers, all those stuff. This is during the medieval time. So these people, they live in houses that are built out of wood. And then outside of the kingdom, you have the edge of the kingdom, which is composed of uh, like a moat and uh lots of barricades to protect the kingdom from outside invaders and you have soldiers stationed everywhere and then you have gates between each part of the kingdom so that way people can come in and people can come out but they have to go through the gates and that's our story keep the story in mind as you learn about the four macromolecules because it will make your life much easier okay let's start with the first one carbohydrate the quick boost of energy Carbohydrate is just a general term, it's not a specific term yet. 
For example, like plants. Plants is a general term. When you want to be more specific, you would be like a tree. A tree is more specific. So carbohydrate is just general. A general uh, of specific of carbohydrate would be like glucose and ribose. Those are specific carbohydrates.